everybody! Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Universal Studios in Hollywood because it's the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. And to celebrate, they have released a whole line of new merchandise. Not only that, but Jurassic Cafe has a whole line of new food and drinks. There's even a volcanic tiki mug that actually explodes <laughs> and kills all the dinos. Spoiler alert! We've heard a rumor there might actually be some filming on the upper lot, so we're going to check that out. Why don't you come with us on, on this, this adventure? adventure. First up in City Walk, we're gonna head into Production Central because they've completely transformed it into a Jurassic World 30th anniversary store. And I can't wait to see all the merch. So since it is the 30th anniversary of this movie, they have come out with a bunch of new merchandise. I think the thing that I was most excited to look at today is the Spirit Jersey. I saw photos of it online and I think it is about the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. How cool is that? It says Jurassic Park 30th anniversary and it has the banner like in the movie at the end. I think this is pretty awesome. I might have to get this. This t-shirt's cool. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Grand opening, June 1993, because that's when the movie came out. The back of it has the JP30 logo. I love merch that feels like it's in universe and this feels like Jurassic Park actually exists in our world. Life uh, finds a way. So this shirt's pretty cool because it has a bunch of classic scenes from the movie. They have the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary logo on a bunch of different colored t-shirts. I might have to get the black one, but I like this little kid shirt. Yeah, has, that is cool. Yeah, it has the, the colorway from the Jeep. And of course the logo, and then on the back it says JP30, and something Ketra might like is actually this jean jacket. <sighs> I like that jean jackets are coming back in style. Do you think I, I could pull that off? <laughs> I think so. It has the patch over the chest there. And on the back is what makes it. Oh, it so Jurassic good. Park 30th anniversary logo has a huge patch. Wow. This, all this merch is so cool. It is. <laughs> also in that Jeep colorway, they have a Jurassic Park coffee mug. And I like on the inside, it has the 30th anniversary banner. But they also have a rugged water mug. Or if you get a Coca-Cola freestyle cup, you could put it around your neck in this little lanyard. Or I guess you could put your water in there too. What's cool about this is when you go out into the sun, it changes color. So it's sun activated. So it turns into that bright red and yellow logo that we all know and love. I don't think this is new, but it's freaking cool. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that, look at it get redder and redder and redder. Okay, this is cool. The guy working in the store was like, if you want to take it outside, you can. And we're like, it's going to take too long. And it literally was instant. They have a dirty version of the license plate, and now they have a 30th anniversary version of the license plate. They also have a keychain, which I quite like. They've got a bucket hat. And look at this cup. I like glass cups. This is a cool glass cup. There's even chocolate, Jurassic Park chocolate. It's milk chocolate with candy bones. Right before you get into the park, Universal's new store, Universe. This is where they have like their streetwear brand. And they have brought it for Jurassic Park's 30th. They have a lot of colorful stuff. I like this bathing suit, but I think my favorite is the, the line inspired by like anime and chibi and manga. It's so cute. I might have to buy one of these. I think my favorite thing in here is this retro video game inspired one that looks like the Jurassic Park game. I know we're in Jurassic mode right now, but they also have a whole new line of Jaws merch. Look at this, button up. Wow. Check this one out. It's a bright orange color. I love it. Am I gonna buy two like sweatshirts today? It's hot. <laughs> Summer's just begun. I know, I'm buying all my winter wear. We decided to hop into the Universal Studios store and there's a bunch more Jurassic Park stuff and there's also the Pride collection because it is June, it is Pride Month, and they got a lot of stuff. What does Pride smell like? Better be rain, but it's not I even thought it was gonna colored. be This should have sparkles in it. I can tell you it smells good. Smells good. But it should be rainbow and glittery. I heard there might be some dinosaurs on the loose. What? Are there dinosaurs? Wait, yeah. Here? My cab? <laughs> uh, a dinosaur comes with my cab. You're goofing me, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait a sec. What's your name? Peter. Peter. I've heard of you, Peter. You've got a reputation around the neighborhood. For oh, no. You're a real practical jokester. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, because of the dinosaur. Oh. Speaking of practical jokes, 
How about this guy? I think he's after the dinosaurs. I think he is a dinosaur. That looks like a jumping, full, full hardy Tyrannosaurus to me. <laughs> I love when you're first walking to Universal, all the characters are right in the entryway and they all you see so many when you first walk in. We showed this briefly in our VIP tour video, but the Universal Plaza has been completely redone and they have a setup in the middle with Fast and the Furious cars from throughout the franchise. It's pretty cool, it has some monitors, they show the new trailer. But also, in the corner, it looks like they're setting up for some kind of filming. It says hot set, second unit. It looks like they're rehearsing some kind of stunt scene. I don't know what they would be filming in the corner of the plaza. What is going on here, dog? I don't know. I just got here. Three, two, one, action. Now we'd like to thank Aura Frames for sponsoring this portion of today's video. When's the last time that you took a photo and actually printed it out, put it in a frame, hung it on your wall, or put it on your counter? I know for us, it's probably been four or five years. Aura Frames makes it easy to keep updated memories of your loved ones close by. We love our dog, so our Aura Frame has tons of photos of Pixel and Gizmo. Is it crazy that we have so many photos of our dogs? It's not crazy. They're almost like our kids. Every time I go into the kitchen and see our Aura Frame, it makes my day better. An Aura Frame might be a good gift for you, or it might be a good gift for Father's Day. I just got one for my grandpa. All he's gotta do is plug it in, connect it to Wi-Fi. It takes less than two minutes to set up. We'll be able to upload new photos or videos from anywhere around the world to his frame with the free Aura app. And the best part is it's free, unlimited, and so easy to use. Or frames have been named the best digital photo frame by Wirecutter. And it was selected as one of Oprah's favorite things. And I've always wanted one of Oprah's favorite things. One of the things I like about Aura Frames is it doesn't look like a digital screen. It actually looks like a real print inside a frame. Aura is giving our viewers $30 off the Carver Mat frame, plus free shipping if you order before June 18th. So what are you waiting for? Get one before they're gone. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below and use code ORDINARY to get that special Father's Day deal before it's gone forever. We just wanted to say thank you so much to Aura Frames and now, Back to our adventure. That was actually very cool. So they weren't actually filming a TV show or movie. It's actually a stunt show, an unadvertised stunt show. And I love this premise because whenever you see advertising for Universal Studios Hollywood, you see like the tram tour coming across something filming and there's some big action happening. And that never actually happens because they always divert the tram tour around any actual filming. But here you actually get to come across some supposed filming happening see a rehearsal, see a stunt happen. I wish the stunt was like bigger, maybe some pyro or something cool like that. And we were waiting around to see if they were gonna do it again and they actually set up over by the entrance to the plaza. What do you think's going on over there? Uh, your style. I have no idea. I just saw caution tape, so I went to go check it out. It's a mystery, I guess. We'll have to figure it out. We're just maybe shooting like a thing here in a couple days, so feel free to watch. If you just try and keep it down, we're just gonna be doing a thing. It's like they're doing different scenes throughout the day in different places which is kind of cool, but it seems like it's all revolving around the plaza. I talked to a Universal team member and they told me that this is only happening today and tomorrow is a test. I don't know, I'm pleasantly surprised. The audience is a little weird on it because they don't know if, if it's real or not. They don't know if they should clap or not because they're, you know, the premise is that they're actually filming a movie or TV show. Although I'm not sure how many people actually believe that. On the upper lot, they finally started demolition on animal actors in the special effects stage. It's taking them a while and rumor has it there's gonna be a roller coaster here. It's one of the worst kept secrets in Universal history. But they've actually constructed a thing above stage 56 where they're testing sound, testing roller coaster sounds 
to see how far the sound travels out into Toluca Lake in the back lot. All right, enough with the merch, enough with the updates. Let's head down to the lower lot and get some new Jurassic Park food and drinks. Now, Sierra, she's a baby velociraptor for protective instincts. And once she's scared, <laughs> it's a really dangerous day for all of us here. Girl. You can try again, just come in underneath and make sure you're giving her plenty of space. Oftentimes she's going to match our energy, she's incredibly empathetic. Now what that means in the context of this training is that she's able to understand how we are feeling. So if we're feeling very scared, she's going to feel scared. But if we're feeling calm and calm, yeah. Now that really was as loud as you can. Good job. Now Navi, what I want you to do is move that fist around through space. You should follow it with her nose. Now, this mirroring exercise is one of our foundational trainings that we do with all of our velociraptors. We do find the more we're able to train them when they're babies, the easier it is to work with them as they approach their full adult size. Now, I'm going to bring her around if anybody wants to give her a little pet. This is a big part of our velociraptor socialization program. The actual physical touch from humans does help her to feel a lot more comfortable around us. Good girl. And with some of our older raptors, we're ah! going Baby raptor is so cute. I don't think he liked our camera though. I think he was scared of the microphone. He thought it was some sort of bird of prey or something coming after him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess dinosaur. He thought it was another dinosaur. But I feel like we haven't seen the baby raptors in so long. I forgot how cute they were. Well, we're gonna have to see their mother later on today. You think <laughs> okay. Blue's in the cage? I think so, but let's go get our food, come on. Over at Jurassic Cafe, they have a whole new menu inspired by Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. And that includes a ton of appetizers, some desserts, and even some entrees. They also have a family feast for $70 that feeds a family of four. We're not getting that today, but we got everything else. We're gonna start off by trying some of the appetizers, and I am gonna try the raptor hummus. This is just hummus served with a mixed variety of vegetable and kettle chips. I love hummus, and I especially love that this is themed hummus. It looks so awesome. There's like a, a dinosaur footprint in there. I guess a raptor footprint. <laughs> Looks like they didn't give us that many vegetable chips. It seems like mostly kettle chips, so I'm gonna try one of the kettle chips. This hummus is surprisingly good. It's not the most amazing hummus I've ever had, but for a theme park, it's nice and cool. My only complaint is I wish they give you something besides chips. I feel like I want something else to dip in there, but I still give this like a three and a half out of five. Not bad. Next up, we got the Brazilian cheese bread. I love Brazilian cheese bread. Every time we're at Fogo de Chao, I'm always probably eating more of the cheese bread than I am the meat. <laughs> but this does look weird. It almost looks like a Noah wafer cookie or something. Doesn't look like the cheese bread that I'm used to. It's not that good. No, really? It's kind of hard. I'd probably give it like a one and a half out of five beer. Oh my God. They also give you a chimichurri dipping sauce and I love chimichurri. So let's dip it in there and see if it makes it any better. I refuse to believe that this is a one and a half out of five. I don't think this is quite as bad as you're making it out to be. It has a super cheesy flavor. It is just like a little sad looking because it's so thin, but the inside is nice and moist. I just feel like maybe they were sitting out for a little bit underneath the heat lamp, but I'd probably give like a two. I really got to get that taste out of my mouth, so I'm going to have a sip <laughs> of my Pyroraptor Refresher. This is passion fruit and dragon fruit lemonade topped with mango pop and boba. And I don't think this is new, but I'm also not sure if we've had it before. So, it's new to us. I feel like boba makes anything better. This is a mango lemonade, and it has those popping mango bobas. It is refreshing. I'd give it a four out of five, Peters. Next up, I'm gonna try out the beef and vegetable skewers. This is two beef and vegetable skewers with sofrito rice and vegetable picadillo with onion, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and Roma tomatoes. I'm sorry if I butchered any of those words. I tried. And it also comes with a side of chimichurri sauce. You can never have too much chimichurri sauce in my opinion. But I'm gonna be honest, these look a little... A little sad. A little sad. Like look at this like teeny tiny piece of meat. When I think of dinosaurs and I think of dinosaur skewers, I expect like huge, gigantic. One of our favorite places to eat at Disneyland is Bengal Barbecue. And I think you could get two skewers and a side of rice for around like $18. This was $16. So I don't know, I'm very curious to see. Maybe it looks better than, or it tastes better than it looks. Surprisingly, the flavor's pretty good. Whatever kind of seasoning they put on this, is really nice, but the meat is very disappointing. Three out of five. 
because the flavor's there. They're just so sad. Oh, oops. <laughs> Pro tip, if you mix the hummus and the chimichurri with the skewers and the rice, it is actually very good. And it jumps up to like a four out of five. So good. One of my favorite dishes here at Jurassic Cafe is the moho pork, but they've changed it. So it used to be moho pork on this like, I don't even know what it was called. It was like this pancake of corn. <laughs> but now it's on the same rice that Kitra had on her, on her dish. And I, I feel like that corn pancake made the dish. So I'm a little, a little skeptical. Did they ruin one of my favorite dishes in Universal Studios Hollywood? Let's find out. They didn't ruin it. The moho pork is still good. It's juicy and tender. And that chimichurri sauce gives it like kind of a vinegary taste. And the rice is actually pretty decent as well. But I do miss that, that corn pancake. I'm gonna put the word on, on the screen because I forgot what it was called. Four out of five peanuts. It's good, but it's not as good as it used to be. To wash that all down, I got one of the brand new cocktails on the menu. This is called the Jurassic Amber Mojito. And this has rum, Tahitian lime, and mint syrup, Perrier green tea, and a mint sprig. I think they forgot the mint sprig, but that sounds so refreshing. It's actually kind of warm out today, so I don't know why I bought two sweatshirts earlier. It almost tastes like a cream soda with rum. I could definitely taste the lime. Wow, I actually kind of like this. This is really good. It almost, I don't know, it's like carbonated because of that Perrier water. Unlike any mojito I've ever had before. Like we've been to Puerto Rico and I've had a real mojito. This doesn't taste anything like that, but it's surprisingly refreshing. And I like that amber, like the color of the amber and the mosquito pan. Yes, so in Jurassic Park the movie, the whole premise of the movie is they get the dino DNA from the mosquito that's stuck in amber. Is this drink as good as that mosquito stuck in amber? I'm not quite sure, but I still give it a four out of five. This is pretty good. <laughs> it's time for dessert, and there's two new dessert items. I'm gonna try the coconut flan, which I think might be a Brazilian flan. Mexican flan is made out of whole milk. Brazilian flan is made with ev evaporated milk. <laughs> How do they taste different? I don't know. But it seems like this menu is very Brazilian inspired. Ooh, look at that, it's like butter. Extremely caramelly, just melts in your mouth. I barely taste the coconut. Honestly, I taste more caramel. I saw the lady over there like pouring this caramel sauce on top of it before we got it. Five out of five, Peter. This Yay! is a solid dessert choice. Ordinary adventure star. I also got a dessert. The one I'm gonna try is called the T-Rex Chocolate Tres Leches Cake. And what is cool about this is it almost looks like dinosaur scales or something on the back there. I love the attention to detail. Look at that. Mmm. Wow. This is so chocolatey. In case you're wondering, a Tres Leches cake is a sponge cake that is soaked in three kinds of milk. Whole milk, condensed milk, and evaporated milk. So that way it would explain why this is so moist. Usually I feel like when you go to theme parks, sometimes when you get like bakery items, they're a little dry. This is not that. This is so good. So, so good. If you like chocolate, if you're a chocolate lover, I highly recommend this. Like, you can almost like see the liquid in there. Can you see that? This gets a five out of five. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's a T-Rex cake. Who knew that T-Rexes tasted so good? There's a couple things that we didn't try here. There's a Jurassic Park branded boxed water. I assume it just tastes like water and has some dinos on the packaging. Also at the Freestyle Machines, they have a new flavor. It's called Wild Refresher Fanta. And I've been told it has a citrus taste to it. I forgot to get bring my Freestyle cup today and I didn't want to buy a new one, so we didn't get it. But I heard it's very orangey. Open the gates. There we go. Come on, eyes on me, right here. Hold it right there. Eyes on me, Blue. Hey! Thank you, that's more like it. Easy, okay. Set her up, nice and calm, come with me. There we go, hold it right there. Very good, Blue, good job. Back to me, right here. Take a breath, calm down. All right, uh, really quick though, before I get this going, those of you in line, you guys signed those waivers before you got in line? Yes? Oh, one's all I need. Let's do it. How cool is it that we actually get to meet Blue? Okay. So all right, guys. Nice and calm. 
Just to investigate. Don't run. Don't move. No sudden move. Just stay right there. All right. Like I said, guys, we're here for blue. We're here for blue. We wanted to learn. It's okay. See? Hey, hey, hey. She said it's okay. Blue. Thank you. And that's just a camera. Let it go. <laughs> blue almost ate you. Yeah, I didn't realize she was that close to oh, the back so. of my head. She's a sweetie, though. I mean, she has her own hummus at Dress at Cafe, so. I'm assuming she made that, right? Or she's made out of it. Oh, yeah. Do you think she goes to the bathroom in the service animal restroom area? I think that's too small. <laughs> I don't think she can fit in that area. She's coming straight for you guys. I'm going to stop her right here. Hey, girl. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic World. This is our two-year-old dinosaur, Juliet. Everybody say hi, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. And my name's Andy. I'm one of her handlers. Everybody say hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. I deal mainly with the herbivores. Those are the plant eaters. Because the carnivores scare me. Anybody else here scared of a T-Rex? Yeah, there's about seven of us. Okay, cool. There are a lot of dinosaurs here. We have stopped keeping count. There's that many. Do what? How many T-Rexes? We've got two. Our largest, Rexy, is on the other side of the island in Predator's Cove. Nothing to worry about. Isn't that crazy? We called them the Triceratops because they have a three-horned face. That's what Triceratops means. Be careful. Yeah, you get too close and she might want her personal space and start whipping around those horns, David. You guys were so friendly. Thank you so much. Oh my god, that activates it. That's so cool. <laughs> Wow. And it's bubbling in there. Oh my god, I love that. Oh, that's so freaking cool. At Isla Nubar, they have a new tiki mug. It is a volcano mug. It's $40, but smoke comes out of it thanks to the magic of dry ice. I think it's the only dry ice cocktail you can get in the park. You can get a Flaming Mo in Simpsons, but that's non-alcoholic. And you can get any cocktail in here that's not frozen. So I decided to get a Mai Tai. How cool is this? It has like three different dinosaurs on the front. It's Universal Studios. You got the Jurassic logo up there. You got a couple herbivores down on the bottom. So smoke is no longer coming out of it, but you can see some bubbling brewing. The volcano is about to erupt and kill all the dinosaurs. I've had the Mai Tai here before. It's very good. I think they're like four out of five Peters. Solid Mai Tai, but the, the cup makes it, it is plastic. It's not like a tiki cup. So it's like a souvenir cup for 40 bucks. Includes the drink. A little expensive, but I'm, I'm kind of glad that they're finally getting some more Jurassic World themed cups here at Universal because before it was like this generic stuff. Another new thing here at Isla Nubar is this drink called Jurassic Waters. What this is is gin, vodka, rum, tequila, raspberry liqueur, melon liqueur, blue carousel, sweet and sour mix, club soda, grenadine, and green tea. Wow, this has a lot of liquors in it. It's kind of like a Long Island, but Jurassic. So this is actually a drink that previously you could get up on the upper lot at Mulligan's and then it became like a secret menu item drink and I'm not 100% sure but I think you could still get it up there if you wanted but it is new to the bar down here and I've had it before but it was so long ago I don't remember what it tastes like. But what I love about this drink is there's like blood in the water and then you mix it all together and it becomes like this nasty almost like purple colored drink. <laughs> you cannot taste the alcohol in that and that's bizarre because there's six different types of liquor in there. This is good. It tastes like candy. I would say the dominant flavor is like that blue carousel and the melon and the grenadine. That's all I'm really tasting. I'm gonna give it a five out of five because it is good. I just want to let people know ever since Super Nintendo World opened, Universal Studios Hollywood has been packed. Like it is so busy all the time and I just want to warn you guys when you're coming here. We're here on a Thursday and it's crazy. We find a place to sit in the shade and I finally got a chance to like check out this new tiki mug and it is so cool. We have been waiting for them to add something like this to the bar over there. And they have like some things, but nothing was really that exciting. I feel like this, this is like what we've been wanting. And the fact that they took the time to put dry ice in it and have it give you that little show is just perfection. Like I absolutely love this. It is plastic, but I feel like it looks really good. And I love like the bright colors. It's just, it's really well done and I'm honestly very happy with it. I think it is a little bit morbid though that it's 
a volcano erupting and all the dinosaurs are probably gonna get like covered in lava but <laughs> besides that i don't know i like it good job universal <laughs> she's not used to seeing people over there she's used to seeing people in front of her any sort of alteration to her routine it can set her off I know, I know. As you know, we are big fans of this franchise. When this ride first reopened as Jurassic World, we were here on day one of the soft openings and got to see all the dinos, got to ride the ride. When we went to Hawaii, we went to Kalua Ranch and we visited some of the locations from the original Jurassic Park as well as Jurassic World. And recently in San Diego, they had this exhibition where it had these animatronic and puppet dinosaurs. They actually had this T-Rex that was pretty insane. I hope they eventually bring him here to Universal Studios. You know what my favorite part of that touring exhibit was? What? I got to feel dino poop. Always wanted to, finally got to. It was slimy. I remember when Jurassic Park first opened. I was there on the first night at General Cinemas in Framingham, Massachusetts. I loved the movie. It scared the crap out of me. But I went home to my dad and was like, you need to see this movie. And I brought him the next morning to see the movie. It was sold out. And we actually ended up sneaking into the screening Whoa. to see it. Yeah, we bought a ticket to another movie and ended up going to that movie. Which now in retrospect seems really wrong. At the time, I was a little kid, and I don't know why my dad went along for it, but he went along for it, and just, I love this franchise. I think I saw this movie in the theater. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that I watched it over and over and over on VHS, and I used to like run around with my stepbrothers and pretend that my finger was a raptor talon, and I would just like go up to things and be like, that was the scariest part, the very beginning of the movie, where Dr. Grant traumatizes that young kid. That movie was terrifying. I don't know how it didn't scar me for life, but such an amazing movie, still holds up to this day. One of the greatest franchises of all time. The newer ones, eh. I like Jurassic World, but the third one, not as much. It's more about birds, prehistoric birds. So Jurassic World, the ride, has actually been closed for the last hour. I just noticed they actually turn the waterfall off. I've never seen that before. I thought it was a real waterfall. Oh, there's the music. Everything here at Universal is fake. It's not a real waterfall. I just noticed that this rock right here is actually a door. It's a fake rock. They even have fake rocks here. But at least the dinosaurs are real, right? Of course. Dino DNA. A lot of people, when they get off the ride, they walk through the gift shop and they don't realize that there's actually some props on display here from the original film, from Jurassic World. They even got your raptor claw. I know. I need it. Look how big it is. It's huge. I want one of those, like, raptor eggs with the UPC codes on them. I wonder if you scan that with your phone. I think you scan it on an app and then you could see the dinosaur inside. Yeah. Yeah. What That's my if, guess. What happens if you scan it with your phone now? I don't know. Should I try? Nothing happened. Sorry. My other favorite section to look at is like the high-end collectibles I can't afford. But here they have the Triceratops scene from the original Jurassic Park. When I was a little kid, all I wanted was this Jurassic Park Jeep. And now I'm an adult and I can't spend $2,500 on it. Lou, hold it right there. Eyes on me. Hey! Thank you. That's better. Easy, none of that. Very good. Good job. Okay, little attitude at the top there, guys. Nothing we can't handle. Nothing we can see before. Look who we ran into, Adam and Daphne. Tell us about the first time you saw Jurassic Park. I was just scared. I just remember being terrified. I didn't finish it. What's the scariest part of the movie? Favorite moments. The kitchen. Oh my god, that's that's the part I shut off, and it took me like ten years to rewatch it to even see the scene again. So scary. I'm getting confused between the first and second. Which is the porta potty scene where the guys on the toilet? First. First one. Yeah. That that etched in my head. Because when I use the bathroom, I do not want a dinosaur coming after me. Some people are terrified of the water because of jaws. I'm terrified of toilets. I used to always think there was gremlins in the toilet. I was like scared for a long time. Well, that's kind of like critters. Yeah. They came out of the toilet? Yeah. I was scared for a long time. Okay. End of uh, escalator interview. That's it.
done. We decided to stop in the studio store on our way out, seeing if there was going to be any more Jurassic merch, and there is. They have a lot more of that cute style, and check out this sweatshirt. This is amazing, but look at the back. I love merch that has movie logos in different languages. So they have Chinese and Japanese Jurassic Park logo shirts. I actually already have a one that's in Japanese, but maybe I need Chinese. I like, I like the Chinese. How cool is that? They even have water bottles in that same style. I love this green one. I just love the look of it. They have so much cool Jurassic Park merch. This one has the logo, but it actually has the date of the release. Then, of course, on the sleeve, JP30. I'm always on the lookout for a future ex Miss Malcolm. This is hands down the best thing that I've seen all day. We weren't even going to stop in this store, and Peter was like, let's just go look and see if there's anything else. I was like, there's not going to be anything else. And then we came in here, and there's all this amazing stuff. Oh. oh, wow. And then in his sunglasses, you can see the T-Rex and the little Jeep they were in. If you want to see when we went to the set of Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, put the video right over here. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes... MW, Rest in Serenity, Christy and Kelly, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure.